Hiya gang, on my radar meteorologist Matt Capucci with a staggering new world record to report. The World Meteorological Organization announced that Freddy has become the longest lived tropical cyclone ever observed worldwide. This storm has been spinning for over a month. During that time frame, it's covered a shocking 5,300 miles and killed 21 people. Here it is when it first formed back on February 6th between Western Australia and Indonesia. It then became one of only four tropical cyclones across the entire southern Indian Ocean. It strengthened over the next two weeks, reaching Category 5 equivalent status over the open ocean on February 18th and 19th. That means it was one solid ring of convection, or downpour and thunderstorm activity, about the eye. Since it didn't have any kind of rugged, spiral rain band sticking out, it was therefore symmetric and became an atmospheric buzzsaw of sorts. There are only about 19 storms on record over the past 34 years to attain Category 5 equivalent status in the southern Indian Ocean. On February 12th, maximum winds reached 165 miles per hour. Then on February 21st, Freddie made landfall near Menagerie, Madagascar. It quickly weakened after encountering land. Unfortunately, it re-strengthened after moving over the Mozambique Channel. Then it hit Mozambique with winds of 90 plus miles per hour and feet of rain. By late February, it had unloaded most of its moisture inland and largely dissipated. Until, you guessed it, it reformed over the Mozambique Channel. And now I feel like a broken record here, but it then crossed the channel, hit Madagascar again, and now here we are. Now, a month after first forming, it's still a nasty storm. And to make things even wilder, it's rapidly intensifying right now, two days earlier than forecast. So now what? Well, the Joint Typhoon Warning Center predicts a late week landfall in northern Mozambique near the mouth of the Zambezi River. By then, it would probably be at least a Category 2 storm. Some models, however, keep the storm stalled over, yep, the Mozambique Channel, where it could re-strengthen into a Category 3 or a Category 4. Either way, it will probably do yet another loop. At this point, I personally can't even forecast an obvious end to when this storm stops. And this thing has broken virtually every record there is to break. For starters, it's rapidly intensified six times. The previous world record for a single storm, four times. And as it is, that's only happened three times before. Once with Norman in 2018, once with Emily in 2005, and once with John, which was both a hurricane and a typhoon in 1994. John was also the former record holder for the longest lived tropical cyclone at 31 days. In addition, Freddie has turned through more ACE, or accumulated cyclone energy, than any other southern hemispheric storm. ACE is a product of storm intensity and duration. The stronger and more long-lived a storm is, the more heat it extracts from the ocean waters below, and then it turns that into work expended by strong winds and heavy rainfall processes. As of Tuesday afternoon, Freddie was up to about 74.5 ACE units. Now, that might not sound like much, but that's more than 47% of Atlantic hurricane seasons, not individual storms entire seasons. With the current forecast, it could get to 85 ACE units in the not too distant future. We're talking like next two or three days. Here's a projection from a brilliant scientist named Tomer Berg. If that is the case, it will set a new world record beating out Aoki from 2006. Simply stated, there is no precedent for a storm this long lived and persistent and this energetic. We'll see where the roller coaster finally ends, but until then, you too can track Freddy in the MyRadar app. Follow My Radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.